This will be the first video that I film in this background. So I'm hoping the lights and everything are okay. So hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rita. And today we're gonna be doing another unboxing, but kind of without the box because I already tossed it out. So this was, I'm pretty sure, the last bag that I purchased last year, but I haven't been around to filming about it or even opening it. So it's still packaged as it arrived. I just got rid of the box. I did get this bag at a very good deal. It was on a great sale back in December, so I purchased right away. We're gonna be uh, unboxing. This is called the Crush Whip Stitched Pebble Tee. I think that's the name of that. I don't entirely know. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe. Just hit the little subs subscribe button down below. Be also sure to hit the little bell so you're notified every time that I post. So here it is without the bag. Like I mentioned, this is brand new. I haven't even unpacked it. I was just waiting to have the time to sit down and properly film an unboxing. And this has been sitting on my kind of closet and also on my new bag display for almost three months. That is crazy. And the name of the bag, as according to the little Kate Spade uh, thing here, it says it's the Crush Whip Stitched Bag. So that's the name. And um, let's go ahead and break it out. So I don't think I mentioned this, by the way, this is from Kate Spade. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh my goodness, this is very pretty. I had just seen it online and of course I could see it like through the bag, but I didn't like fully see it because I hadn't unbagged it or unboxed it. So let's go ahead and break everything or the packaging because again, I cannot believe I waited this long. This is probably the longest I've waited to open up a bag since purchasing. So just pulling everything apart making a mess oh this is very pretty oh my goodness look at how stunning this is like the short uh kind of like top handle and it also has a long one which i'm trying to open but it's being very difficult so like always i'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because it's going a little insane and i'll be right back to show you the bag once it's all unpacked we are back and this bag you guys it is so so beautiful the pictures on the website does not do it justice it is the softest leather too it's very very soft very stunning bag i am very very pleasantly surprised because i did not think this was gonna be honestly i had it on my wish list right this is a kind of colorway that i go for more lighter beigeier bags and then with this beautiful intertwined stitching brown i thought that's so stunning. I feel like I'm going to use it a lot because, again, that's more of the colors that I like to wear. I wear very much neutral colors in my wardrobe and I love pinks, whites, beige. So this was just a no-brainer. And then when I saw it went on sale very significantly, I knew it was time to purchase. So, yeah, it is super stunning. I don't think they have this exact same colorway on the website right now. They do have the exact same bag in, I believe, an orange. I'm going to leave all the information below in case you want to purchase. And Mercari and eBay even or Poshmark always is a great option to look for bags. If you're looking for a specific model, this one is very, very stunning. Honestly, I did not think it was going to be as beautiful in person as it is. I thought, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to like this. It looks kind of odd, but in a way it looked cute at the same time because it's like different. Like it's a very different bag, unlike anything I have in my collection. So yeah, it's very pretty. And actually, looking at this hardware, it is very gold. I feel like Kate Spade has more of that light gold, a little bit of like silver looking hardware. But this one, like, you cannot mistake it. This is like a straight up beautiful gold. I really, really love that. I'm very impressed with the hardware. And just listen to the zipper. The zipper is so soft. That is beautiful. So well constructed. This definitely gives me more of like higher end vibes. This bag is very, very pretty. 
Look at the hard work. Let me get, let me see if we can zoom in a little bit. That is beautiful. The details on this bag are just to die for. This this I'm very very impressed honestly. I'm gonna show you again a little close up. You can see this is like a little I don't know. It's like shaped angular. And then it says skate spade right there embossed, and then it has these two circles. You cannot remove this uh, short top handle. So it'll just remain as a forever top handle. You can, of course, add, oh, by the way, it does come with a little dust bag. All of the Kate Spade bags that come from the retail, not the outlet, always come with a dust bag. Just wanted to mention that. Um, and let me see, I haven't tried putting this up, of course, because I literally just opened it. So, okay, yeah, you'll have plenty of space. I'm gonna put it like this just to show you. Oops, just dropped it on the floor. My brand new bag. Wow, you guys, this is very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I am very impressed. I was not expecting it to be as pretty, honestly, as it is. So, you've got a long strap that you can wear as a crossbody, which I've mentioned this before in my in my videos that I talk about bags. That's not my preferred way of wearing a bag, but it's you know it's good to have the option. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, lengths that you can put your bag. I'm probably gonna put it on the shortest one so I can wear it as a shoulder bag as opposed to a um, crossbody. But yeah, I really love the fact that you can't remove this top handle because I feel like if I had the option, I would probably do it and I would definitely miss out because the bag looks just so beautifully as a top handle. It really is a stunning bag. So you can see on the sides, let's just look at the actual bag itself and then we'll just open it up and see what fits. So you can see it has this beautiful uh, stitching on the sides, on the middle. So the bag kind of like parts into like right in the middle, no feet. I always mention this, I do like whenever bags come with feet. In this case, sadly it does not, but you have like the middle stitched all along you really can't see the stitching but it just makes the bag kind of like i don't know like a little detail a little design that's very different i really like it I, i'm very very impressed I'm, i keep saying that but honestly it is a beautiful bag and honestly at least the one that's remaining which is the orange doesn't have the best reviews on the website i don't know why because it's beautifully breathtaking so then you go back to the beautiful hardware on the other side and here is with the long strap this is the back side of the bag so you can see a little bit better. Again, the leather is absolutely soft. It's very, very soft. And here is the bag by itself. Very stunning. I am extremely impressed with the hardware. I love this gold. I haven't seen a Kate Spade bag, and I do have a ton of them, with this brighter, beautiful gold color. And you get the same gold here, embossed, or like in this little embossing, Kate Spade New York. Very, very stunning. I keep saying the word stunning because there's literally no other words I could use to describe this bag. It's absolutely beautiful. And then to open the bag, you just kind of like move the handheld or the top handle um, to the side. And then you get this beautiful long zipper, which again, it's super soft to open and close and very easy. So same beautiful gold, very intense. Like there's no like... Uh, no silver to this. This is just a straight-up beautiful gold and It's also the zipper embossed with Kate Spade the branding. So once you open it, it's actually a pretty Decent bag size for a smaller bag So although it's like a smallish bag, I wouldn't consider this a medium. It's a small bag You still get a pretty big size. It's just like one of those dump all kind of bag You do get a little zipper and two tiny pockets. So let me show you. Here is a pocket. It's it's kind of hard to show you, but you get like a small pocket there, and then you get a zipper, which I did throw in one of the desiccants, and that would be a good spot for me to put my, um, my little card holder. I always carry a card holder, or lately, in the past years, I've done that. And then you get another, um, 
another pocket on the other side so like a mini pocket like that will probably fit like if you live in new york or a met wherever you have metro or a subway you can just put like your subway card there and then here you can definitely fit a couple of things maybe like my lipstick or my little bird's piece and then in the zipper i will just put my uh my card holder and then that's all like you get just like a big big kind of like just opening one opening and done but i feel like it's pretty decently sized to be a smaller bag i feel like i could fit a lot of course we're gonna go check like always i like to pack my bag to the max and show you what you can fit this is not gonna be even i don't think this would be considered like a medium bag i think it would be like a small medium if that makes sense so anyway here it is beautiful crush crush what uh whip stitched i think bag from kate spade the color by the way it's called milk glass Whenever I bought it and whenever I, I saw the name of the color, I thought it was going to be more on the whiter side. Like it was going to be a white bag with a little bit of beige, but this is definitely straight up a beige bag. I'm going to go ahead and grab a white one from my bags to show you kind of like compare the actual color. But anyway, I'm going to go grab that, fill this up as much as I can, and then we'll talk about what fits in the bag. I'm back with a very packed bag. I added as much as I could. The only thing that I'm missing is my phone, but of course it would fit without an issue. Let me go ahead and add it, and there it is now inside. So the bag closes really nicely and easily with everything that I put in there. So I can't do it like sideways. But there it is, closed, and let's go ahead and open it. Like I said, the zipper is a really good zipper, so I really love that and everything is in here it's hard to show you because of how the bag is but there's everything i'm gonna start pulling things out like i usually do because it's gonna be hard for me to show you because it's like i don't know a smaller bag so anyway my phone i have the samsung note the latest model it's not called the note anymore i think it's like the s22 ultra so it's a pretty significant phone like compared here to my hand it's a big phone my hands are also kind of big but yeah I have a big phone. That's kind of what, what I'm trying to say. It fits. It fits without any issue. And then let's go ahead and take out an easy one, which is my sanitizer. I wear or I use a little spray bottle. And then we have some Kleenex. I'm just pulling things out. Of course, everything is just in the middle compartment, which is the one and only compartment that's bigger. So I got some Kleenex. I always carry around some Kleenex with me. I've got a small hand lotion this one is from dobe and then also in the middle we have very important my keys so my keys for my house my bicycle and my car live here this is a bigger pouch so it's not like a tiny key pouch it is pretty significant this one is from coach from the outlet and next we have my pen which I always carry a pin with me. And lastly, in the bigger compartment, very important, we have sitting actually very comfortably my paperback Kindle. So I love the fact that I know that it, even though it's like a smaller bag, I can still fit very easily my Kindle. Again, I have the paperback. I think this was bought, I bought it in 2020. So whichever paperback was in that time. Now on to the smaller pocket. So the bigger pocket, which is this one, I was able to fit a full size lipstick. This one is what the one, the one that I'm wearing, uh, Velvet Dragon by Lisa Eldridge. So full size lipstick fits without any issue. And then I also have my Burt's Bees, which I use every single day. Let's put it in my pocket. And then lastly, I have also something that I always carry with me in every single bag my little pill holder. Then we've got on the other side, the small pocket. I didn't put anything there because I don't really have a card to throw in there. If I lived in a place where I could ride the subway, I would probably put my subway card there. And then we have the zipper. I'll just open it. And here is where my uh, little card holder lives. And that is everything. So bag is now empty again. It does fit a lot. Like for being again a small bag, I can fit my essentials and then some, including my Kindle, which I really love. I love, I'm gonna take off this. I love whenever I can carry my Kindle around. So let me go ahead and stand up. Don't mind me, I'm wearing sweatpants. Just wanted to let you know. But um, let me move this chair. So here it is, like if I'm just uh, standing, 
and putting uh, the bag on the crook of my arm as, you know, with the top handle. That's kind of like, here is my waist and I would just wear it like that. And it looks very pretty. I think it's a stunning bag. And then in the position that the bag came in, which is on the third and fourth little, whatever you call it, the bag would fall literally right here underneath my hip so pretty low on my legs i am um five four i believe so i'm a bit on the shorter side but yeah you can see of course i said i would like move it i haven't moved it around but i would probably move it so the bag falls more like that i do have two more options to make it shorter that's gonna be everything for me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like always please be sure to subscribe just hit the little subscribe button down below and thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one bye